My name is Jamie Chapman. I graduated graduated from Austin High School in 2009. I was a varsity track, cross country, and soccer. On the 24th of November 2011, I made a terrible mistake. He was very cognitive, even after the accident, that he didn't have brain damage, he had brain trauma. And the way I knew that is because I would come in and tell him that, hi Jamie, it's mom, can you hear me? And he would start to cry. So it was like I knew he was there, we just had to get him out. My name is Katrina Chapman and I am Jamie's mom. And we were in South America visiting his sister who was studying abroad when we got the phone call. And we were told that um, he was in this horrific car accident and he was life flighted and that um, he may not live. We got back after we got back in 72 hours and um, he was in a coma and um, uh, tubes everywhere coming out of everything. And um, I had no idea what we were in store for. I thought, sure, you know, he's gonna come out of coma and everything's gonna be great like it was on TV. And it's not that way, and it'll be four years, 24th of November, that the accident happened. I drank too much and got behind the wheel of my car to go back to my apartment. I made a wrong turn back to my apartment, and at some point I slammed into a tree. I was unable to talk or sit up without help. My brain trauma affected absolutely everything that people do every day as a habit. My mother had been my 24-7 caregiver. It is a very long, lonely life. I rarely see people other than my mom, dad, and my brother. When he came home for a while, there were a lot that came, but after a while, you know, um, it's kids, and they're 20 and they're 21, and you know, hanging out at Jamie's house in a wheelchair and a coma and with a tube drip and, a, you know, diapers on, you know, they've got a life. If you drink already begin drinking in college, be smart, think of me, plan a ride home. You, if you're out, do not have access to your kids to get from point A to point B. Call a new work A friend, call your parents, sibling. Do not get behind the wheel of a car. If they don't call you and they get behind the wheel of that car, or they get into a car with someone else who's been drinking, you may be in the same situation I am. And two things that I've learned throughout this is that you can't touch a child and hug your child when they're nice to you. You can rub their hand, but you can't hug them. And thank goodness Jamie did not hurt anyone else. Thank goodness he didn't go to jail. Because I don't think that you can hug your child in jail. Just don't be like me. You do not have this under control. That's all. Just don't be like me.